Akita McIntosh was paired with one of the first autism service dogs from Lions Foundation of Canada Dog Guides when he was seven years old. His father, Sean, recalls the training. I mean, at first it's a little overwhelming, you know, because there's so many commands that you're trying to keep track of. And it's even gotten more so. I mean, Icon, as I mentioned, she was an earlier service dog. The commands have become more detailed. There's probably at least 30, 35 percent more. So Mochi is able to do things that his, that his predecessor wasn't. Not because she wasn't intelligent enough, but just they didn't exist and the program has evolved and will continue to, I'm sure. Working with a dog guide has helped Akito immeasurably. When he was seven, he was what is known in the autism community as a bolter. He would randomly run away. Icon helped him to break that habit by being tethered to Akito. If he started to run, she was trained to plant herself on the ground. It's so important to get that bond going between them, but I think Icon viewed him and his capabilities as her pup. And so she always kind of had that protective look about him. He used to be terrified, and he still doesn't like, but he used to be terrified by public washrooms, the industrial flushes, the hand dryers. And if you think about it, if you're a family trying to go out and your child cannot use the public washroom under any circumstances, it really limits, you know, you're going to the mall, you're going out for dinner, anything like that. We discovered he was comfortable going in, but only if Icon, now Mochi, went with him for emotional support. And so that's really kind of expanded what we're able to do as a family. Icon recently retired to live her best dog life on a farm. Akito was paired with Mochi. Sean says they are more like buddies. In his case, it's very difficult for Akito to make friends. But it gives him the confidence that people will come up and approach him because they're interested in his dog, interested in understanding what he's about. And that's very important because autistic people want to be part of things. It's just they're not always included. Having dog guides in the home has also helped Akito's older sister. I obviously didn't have like the typical childhood like everyone else. It was definitely difficult like not being able to like just go, let's say like to the mall or shopping like for clothes for myself. I have like kind of like a ticking time. Like I only have a limited amount of time to be able to actually get things I want. I won't. And if I run out of time, then I run out of time. I don't end up getting anything. So that was definitely one of the difficult parts. She shares people used to give their family dirty looks, especially when pulling their car into accessible parking. It's an invisible disability, right? It's not like he's in a wheelchair or it's not, it's not something if you look at him right away, you think, oh, like he has autism. Like it's, it's an invisible one. I'm sure lots of people in the same uh, shoes as us agree with that. But uh, having the service dog and having the label on the vest saying autism service dog really helped with just people's opinions in general less dirty looks from people in public. Good boy. Good boy. The Lions Foundation annual fundraiser, the Pet Value Walk for Dog Guides, is coming up on Sunday, May 29th. What a lot of people don't realize is it doesn't cost anything for these service dogs for the clients themselves. And the clients could be anywhere within Canada. So the folks from Lions Foundation fly these people in for training. They pay for that. The food is covered, accommodation, you know, flying them back. They provide the dogs, I mean, and these dogs have an average of $35,000 of the training, so it's huge when you see people coming out. I mean, one of the really neat things about the Walk for Dog Guides is you can show your support by going to, I think it's walkfordogguides.com. You can sign up and now you can connect, you know, your Apple Watch, your Fitbit, other your device on there and track your mileage virtually, even if you're not able to participate locally. They have so much fun together. He has all that energy. And like I can see like when he comes back from these walks, like Akito's just like radiating happiness. So it's really it's really great to see that. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.